Hey, what's up guys? Random Tom here uh, with a quick demo video for a plugin Umami. Umami is Python-driven cinema 4D plugin that generates parametric random splines. What does it mean? Well, that means that all the splines you get are parametric and random. Take a look at this video. Totally random splines. You never know what you get. You know that's awesome. If you need some splines, some uh, some random stuff, so that's the plugin to go. Also, my friend Rich kicked two images with the plugin Umami and uploaded them on his blog every day, all week, all year. That's the first one. Totally random splines. Looking awesome, man. Thank you. And the second one. This one. Uh, I love this one the best. I don't know. It has just something. You know. Something catches my eyes in here. I don't know. Thank you, Rich, for using my plugin. Appreciate that. And you guys should definitely take a look at his uh, blog. He is a really great resource for inspiration. He does a bunch of stuff with cinema, V-Ray, and 3D. You know, he's, he's just an amazing guy. Okay, back to Umami, and let me show you some settings. So, once you install the plugin, you will find it under Plugins menu, Umami. And by default, you will have something like this, some five random awesome looking splines. But when you render it, well, you get nothing. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at the settings. Under spline menu, random seed, simple, uh, define the randomness of the shape. Yeah, okay. Number of segments, well, if you increase the segments, your spline gets bigger, easy. Number of splines, well, one, two, three, four, five. Randomness on x-axis. If I take this one to zero, all the points on x-axis are at zero position. And while playing with the value, I give it some shape, you know, some randomness. Okay, great stuff. Uh, same goes for y-axis and z-axis. Great. Height scale. If it's on 100, uh, the spline goes upwards. If it's on zero, well, it looks like a like a ball. All the points are randomized from the zero zero point in the world. Okay, let's set it to default 100. Uh, to explain height randomness, I should go back to Object tab and set it to linear. Back to front view, and let me just say zero. Once I have this on zero, all the points on y-axis are distributed evenly by 100 pixels. So this one, 100, 200, 3, 4, 5, and so on. You know, no, no randomness on, on the heights. So if I say it's 50, it gets randomized on y-axis. Right, awesome. Simple, simple, awesome. Okay. Randomized position and rotation. Well, it just distributes the spline along the x-axis, along y-axis and z-axis. Rotation, simple, 360, 360, and so on. Let's increase the number of splines. Try to render and nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's because we need some mesh for that. To do that, let's create a rectangular shape. Any of these we will do, as long as they are close to the splines. So I'll choose rectangular, dial down the numbers, oh, 20, and drop it under profile spline. And now I try to render, and I have this totally awesome looking object. Okay, uh, generate mesh. You know, it just disables, enables the mesh of, this, uh, of the object. And rotation. Rotates the mesh along the height. You, know, you can go minus, you can go plus. Fill. You know, this defines the, the, the scale of the, of the mesh on the spline. That's where uh, this button, height spline, comes in hand. You know, 
if you let's say have few of these objects then seeing all these lines might get in the way so that's where you can simplify them okay awesome and from well, it just shrinks uh, shrinks the object from the from the zero 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 point okay awesome Thong. well uh, you should definitely be familiar with it so I will not explain it to you and size and twist let me zoom a little if I take this one up there is no scaling down on the height it's the same shape and if I scale this one down all the splines are scaled to 0, 0 at the beginning and to 100 and on the end well, simple. You can definitely adjust the shape the way you want, you know, to get something something unique, like this. Awesome. Twist is pr probably something similar as the end rotation, except you can, you know, also give it some, some randomness and manually adjust the, the rotation of the objects. Well, just give it a try. So that's it. That's the way to use plugin Umami. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoy it. And thank you for watching. Cheers!